Palestinians in the sewed of Gaza Strip scrambled to find safety Wednesday as Israel hammered neighborhood after neighborhood in the tiny coastal enclave in retaliation for the deadly mass incursion by Hamas militants and vowed an even more punishing escalation. Airstrikes smashed entire city blocks to rubble, leaving unknown numbers of bodies beneath mounds of debris, and continued even as Hamas militants hold dozens of captives seized during their shocking attack into Israel over the weekend. Israel has vowed unprecedented offensive against the Islamic militant group ruling Gaza after its fighters broke through the border fence and stormed into a country's south, gunning down hundreds of Israelis in their homes, on the streets, and at an outdoor music festival. They dragged an estimated 150 people, soldiers, men, women, children, and elderly into captivity in Gaza. As Palestinians crowded into UN schools and shrinking a number of safe neighborhoods, humanitarian groups pleaded for the creation of corridors to get aid into Gaza, warning that hospitals overwhelmed with wounded people were running out of supplies. Israel has stopped entry of food, fuel, medicine into Gaza and sole remaining access from Egypt was shut down Tuesday after airstrikes hit near the border closing. Gaza's power authority says its sole power plant will run out of fuel within hours, leaving the territory without electricity after Israel cut off supplies. Palestinians in Gaza have long relied on generators to power homes, offices, and hospitals, but have no way of importing fuel for those either. The war which has already claimed at least 2,100 lives on both sides is expected to escalate. Israel appears increasingly likely to launch a ground offensive into Gaza, a 40-kilometer long strip of land wedged among Israel, Egypt and Mediterranean Sea that is home up to 2.3 million Palestinians and has been governed by Hamas since 2007.